Hello and welcome back to another video. So I've been doing some work with this TPU filament. It's a flexible filament. Hopefully that shows up alright and is in focus. So it's different to the other filament. It's very flexible. You tie it in knots and it just comes back. And what it's good for, I thought, might be to make a flexible pad for the top of the fingers instead of having to buy something. But we're still working on that. But here is a test finger that I printed out. You can see how flexible this filament is. Spring back pretty well no matter what you do with it. So it's pretty handy. But to find a practical use for it, a person on the Enable website, Xavier, put me onto the design of this hand. So what we do here is instead of having pins that hold the hand together on this original style. You have pins that go in here and then you have the dental elastic on the back. It works very well. This idea is a fully 3D printed hinge. So it prints with a little pin either side basically and a flat cartilage in the middle. And that replaces the pins and also the rubber bands. So that's that style. And with this hand also, the tensioner blocks are printed in TPU, so they're slightly stretchy. If you do have to put a lot of pressure on that, they can stretch a little bit. But this works really well. So there's another idea. If you can't get um, dental bands, then you could probably do something like this if you can get TPU filament. So there's another idea to look at. Something else that um, I wanted to improve on is the tensioner blocks always have screws in it. Now this hand is fully 3D printed apart from the braided line of course. The only metal part you need is the screws. So what I've been working on is an idea to have something that doesn't need screws to adjust it. So inside here I've designed basically steps. Hopefully that can show up on video. So there's steps inside there. There's a better angle maybe. So they're angled to one direction. And this part here is a tensioning block that has a locking pin that you can lift out of the way. So the idea is you push it into the block and it'll catch on those steps like so and it won't go back the other way you can't pull it out but if you want to tighten it you just have to push it in to the next step and it keeps going and flies across the table so that's the idea of that and then when you want to release it you just have to push up on this lever or push down on this lever that pushes up on that lever and allows it to slide back and all that does is closes that like that. So that's the idea that we're working on. We've got some smaller ones that don't work too badly. So that's the same design, just in a smaller piece. So it locks into there and once it's locked in you can put a fair bit of pressure on the front there and you won't get that out. But to release it, once again you just push down there and you can slide that forward. So you can pull it back to where you want, release that, and it won't come out. So that's the design I'm working on at the moment. This one is about 12 millimeters, so it's fairly big for hand, but I'm just printing out some smaller ones now. So we'll see how they work. But maybe that's an idea somebody else can work on and improve a little bit, but um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, so far, that's what we're working on. Alright, that's enough for today, so um, yeah, let me know if you liked the video, and um, I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching, bye for now.